When searching for articles, videos, and activities to support instruction in world history, check out the InfoBase Modern World History Library resource. It's located in the portal in the Library History folder. This resource is chock full of useful information and materials to support your instruction and student inquiry. On the main page, you'll notice different types of primary sources, maps and graphs, videos and slideshows, and featured people. On the right-hand side, you'll see the Topic Center organized by region, era, and subject, which allows for an easy search based on your needs. So to see all the resources in a particular featured section, you'll click on the View All to see a full list. Notice that the right-hand side changes slightly to show again that you can filter further by region, era, and subject. So simply click on the era that you're interested in to see all the primary resources available. At the top, when you click on Curriculum Tools, this gives you tools for students and for educators. Tools for students include analyzing editorial cartoons and primary sources, as well as resources to help students with writing in a history course. Tools for educators include tips on using editorial cartoons in class and themes in modern history. If you navigate back to the home page, you and your students can also pull up different timelines. If you look at the menu here on the right side of the page in the first section, you can select timelines. From there, once you choose a specific timeline, a page will open up with a searchable timeline. So you could enter a keyword and see where it falls on that particular timeline. The last thing I want to show you is in the search options where you can search by standards by selecting social studies and then the appropriate grade level. Below you can find the standard that you're teaching and then click on the entries related to this standard. Here you can also filter across the top by what type of documents or along the side as well. And then once you find a document you want to use, there are multiple ways across the top of that document that you can share those with your students.